Hi, Dan Crab from C2 Solutions here. Today I'm going to show you a little known about or little used feature of Google Chrome called Google Chrome Profile Switcher. It essentially allows you to make profiles and then have everything synchronized from your browser from computer to computer. Now this is really handy when you think of the business environment and hot desking, which I've actually seen some clients doing. And it also is very handy for separating things out. So I have a work profile and a personal profile. Or you can use it to separate out your work profile from your kids and what they're doing on the computer. So really, really handy to separate but also synchronize everything around and you can even get it coming through on your phone. So let's go through and I'll show you how to get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use Google Chrome Profile Switcher. And it's really easy to use, really. It's up here in the top right hand side, okay? It's usually a little person icon if you've never accessed it before. When you click on it, it will show the current profile you're logged into. Now, if you haven't logged into, into it, um, there'll be a, a button here saying sign into, sign into Chrome Profile. Okay, and I'll show you that in a little while. But you can switch between profiles by clicking the Switch Person button, okay? And here's your different profiles. Previously, you could only have up to eight on the screen uh, in here, but um, Google actually just in the last few days, or in the last week, has now allowed more, um, and you can see them here. Now you can create a guest profile. So if you just want to log in as a guest and then kind of delete it later, you can click on that, and that separates you out from this current profile that's already loaded on the computer. And you can also then add another person, so you can add a profile and delete it out. So here you see I've got my work one, I've got my personal one and another kind of work one I use for another client. Now if I um, if I click on this, you'll see it loads this profile and it even loads the tabs I had open previously. Okay, so it automatically synchronizes for this tab and you'll see these tabs are uh, different to the other profile. So both profiles are separate. You can see all the bookmarks are different and all the extensions are different compared to up here. Okay, so the two profiles work completely separately. Now what's really nice is down the bottom you get um, the little icon appear here and so it allows you to be able to t pin that to the taskbar so you can easily get back to those profiles, okay? So that's, uh, that's how the, the profiles look on the browser. So let's go and show you the settings for that. If you go up into the nav menu and go to settings, you'll see down here the different uh, profiles I've got on this computer, okay? And the options here for enable guest browsing and also let anyone add a person to Chrome. Okay, so you can control whether those functions appear in your Chrome browser. You can also import um, bookmarks and settings into the current profile, and up the top is the synchronization settings. So here, uh, here is where you can disconnect your current profile, or you can synchronize what, or choose what options you want to synchronize. So I usually sync everything, it's kind of nice and easy. Okay, so let's go and switch up a profile. Actually, I'll show you deleting one out and then I'll re-edit. So here you've got a profile for Dean at AFH. I'm going to delete that one out and actually removes all of that data from the computer. Okay, and it comes up and says it's going to remove all the information and so that's now removed. Now if I want to then add that profile back in, I can go add person. I'll type it again. I'll just call this one Dean Test, but I'll use the account, I'll go uh, pick an icon, okay, and you can add it, remember you can add an image later. Now I've done the Dean test, you get here, here's I can change the image, but then I can sign into Chrome. So you're signing in with your Google account. So here you enter your email address. Okay, for your Google account. Now there are options to be able to find or create your profile. I'm not going to pick either of those, I'm just going to go next, but you can use it to find or create a new profile. And then in here, I then go and get my password, which I'll, I'll just do off screen. Okay, enter your password. Now if you've got two-step authentication, you'll get a message at this point, and you've got to put in the ID. Okay, and you see as soon as I do that, it'll start synchronizing everything in. So it says basically, do you want to link the data into this profile? And you go, yes. And very quickly, we'll now start synchronizing in all of my bookmarks, all of my history. Okay, and you'll see the extensions start to load up here one by one as well. Okay, so 
it's a really great way. You see everything just starting to magically import into the browser for you there. Okay, so that's adding a, a new Chrome profile into the profile switcher and making the most of it. Now, while that, I'll let that load in the background, I'll show you another piece of functionality, and that's um, the synchronization to your mobile phone. So here's my profile here, okay, my work one. Now, if I bring my phone over, okay, you can see I've got three tabs in the top, and if I open Chrome, okay, and I go to Recent Tabs, You'll see the tabs here match the tabs on my computer called Neo. And you've also got the full history of tabs. So I can click and get the full history of my tabs here. Uh, so you could you could leave your desk and be out in the road and then access one of the one of your tabs that you needed to so you can continue reading something. So it comes really kind of handy like that. Additionally, if you want to switch between um, oh sorry, I'll show you bookmarks. So here's all the bookmarks synchronizing from my computer. So you remember um, I I'll actually show you this in action. If I go to my bookmarks and my bookmarks manager, you'll see under mobile bookmarks, this matches the ones here. So if I grab this one and copy, actually I'll show you how quickly this occurs in the background. If you go to Chrome, colon forward slash forward slash sync, or sync internals, they both work, okay. Um, you'll see here, when I add a bookmark, this will update in the console here. This is just a little bit of geeky stuff, but it shows you how magically fast this is. Okay, and there's it's committing through there. Now, if you give that a moment, those bookmarks, it's already synced up to the cloud, and there you go, it's already appeared on my phone. Okay, so that's how quickly they things synchronize through. Sometimes I've seen it take a couple of minutes, but you, it goes up into the cloud very quickly. It may just take a couple of minutes to come back down onto your phone. Okay, so that's... Um, that's the synchronization of things through to your phone. The other thing is you may want to switch profiles on your phone, which you just need to go into settings and you then click on the name at the top. Okay, and there's your different accounts. You can see it's syncing for Dean at C2 Solutions. You just need to sign out. You click down here and sign out and then log into your other account to then synchronize the different profile in your phone. Okay, so that's Google um, Profile Switcher. Google Chrome Profile Switcher. Hope you like it, make the most of it, and start synchronizing your data around. So I hope you've enjoyed that introduction to using Google Chrome Profile Switcher and the benefits in being able to hot desk and have everything synchronized and following you around. If you'd like more tips like this, then please subscribe. You'll find the link below or on our website. Additionally, share it with your friends and colleagues if you think they'll find it beneficial. I'm sure they will. And give the video a like to give it a bit of a boost. We look forward to seeing you next time.